Welcome. Happy Monday morning. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Give me a shout if you're here. Um, I am going to play a little bit more with my embroidery machine this morning. I've been so distracted. <laughs> I need to get back to bag making, but this is just so fun. I just can't stop. Okay. Let me get, I'm going to thread my machine, pull up the pattern, all of that kind of good stuff, and then we'll start sewing. So, and we'll also kind of wait for more people to hop on. Let me get the comments going here. Hi, Joni. Hi, Janine, or yeah, Janine, Diane. Yay, we have some people, awesome. Okay. So I'm going to be sewing up a cute little dog lip balm holder from uh, Creations by Connie. And it's awesome that I've actually met the person that is behind the embroidery pattern. I met Connie at So Magical. So it's awesome to actually know whose pattern you're making. It's kind of fun. Hello, everybody. Yay, we got a good group. Awesome. Noon in Connecticut. I feel like this might be a good time for most people right in the morning. Hi, Kajersti. Yay. <sighs> All right. So I've been playing a lot with my machine, mainly hand sanitizer, lip balm holders. I'm just trying to get the feel of it and trying to understand how everything goes. So I have a friend who has little girls. Where's my lip balm that I, oh, let me grab it. Her little girl's on a dance team and she wanted to get them all little um, lip balm holders to put on their bag. So their colors are orange and black. So I've been making these for her. Kind of the idea of what we're doing today, except our lip balm holder will have the lip balm on the back. So isn't that cute? You can change up what you put for the hook too. You don't have to do a swivel clip. You can do a key ring, key fob, you can do a chain whatever you wanna do, but there is one style. And then I made these. <laughs> Hi guys. Awesome. Hey, Leslie. Okay, <laughs> you're listening, okay. I made these cute little Santa gnomes, I couldn't resist. And this is what we're gonna do on the one we're doing today. I put a key fob connector on it. I kind of like that. Um, we're going to do the same on the one we're doing today. And this one just has a slit in the front. And it goes right there. There's so many different, there's like three different styles I've made so far of how you can do a lip balm holder. So there are variations of it, which is kind of cool. Okay. Hi, Lynette. Yay. <laughs> Another Colorado in. Hello. All right. So. As I'm saying, we are doing a dog one today. It's like this cute sitting dog, okay? Um, I will link um, Creations by Connie below. This is a different one. This is Designs by Little Bee, Little Miss Bee, I think it is, and so is this one. I'll try and, there are so many different embroidery designers. I had no clue. This is a whole new world for me. Whole new world. <laughs> Super fun, and I love it. <laughs> Um, also, we're going to have lots of time to chat while this machine is stitching our thing. So I will look back and we will chat some while I'm doing it. So let's get set up and ready to go. Hopefully this goes smoothly. My thread has been, um, not wanting to be my friend, but maybe today will be better. Okay. So here is my machine. Let me know if we need different angles. This is a whole new type of live for me. So I'm not sure the exact setup we need to do yet. All right. So I have my memory stick in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my pattern. I think it's this one. Here it is. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. There's my little doggy I'm doing. I don't know if you can see that. You see the little dog I'm doing? All right. We're going to Set it up. I've already got my colors all picked out. Here we go. I don't have to do much to it. I don't have to edit it, move it. It's just as is. I'm not changing anything on it. Um, okay, so 
I have my embroidery hoop all ready to go with just some tearaway stabilizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I've got my bobbin in. And then I'm gonna outline it in pink since that's our first color we're also going to stitch. It's good, all right, Cynthia, awesome. Yeah, let me know, guys. This one got kind of twisted, so I have to undo it here. Okay. So my thread has been like shredding a little bit. I don't know if it's the thread. I've changed my needle. I've changed the bobbin. I slowed it down. So I don't know. Hopefully that won't happen today. Oh, thank you, Pam. The Tremont is a good one. All right, so I'm gonna thread it. Fabulous. All right, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm gonna put my foot down. And here we go. So it's just going to stitch out the outline for me first. And then I will know where to place my vinyl to stitch. Um, <laughs> the one thing that I, I, like I said, I am learning this all from scratch. Every pattern should come with instructions in the files. So be sure and look for those instructions and read those before you start just stitching it out because I didn't know that. I don't know if I'm stupid or it's all new. I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these make awesome gifts. That's what I'm thinking. Good Christmas gifts. So I'm just trying to get these down. I've also made hand sanitizers, whoops, hand sanitizer holders, which I'll show you too. Okay. It's almost done. I thought it was done. Just kidding. If it shreds, I use a needle stand. Oh, you mean like, oh, a thread stand. I have one of those. I had a purple, Ray, I had a purple color yesterday that just kept shredding the whole time I was using it. So it was super frustrating. Okay, so here is where my vinyl needs to, I've kind of already cut out a piece. Yeah, I think it's great. Okay, so we're going to, I really like to use double-sided tape to put all this down. And I'm very careful to keep it out of where I'll be stitching. So I just put it on the top and on the bottom. Here, I need to put comments, I can't, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute. Uh, right there. Oh, okay. I use the Brother thread. Yes. It's just what came with it. So I wonder if I put my thread stand on instead of using this, if that would help. I may try that. If we have that issue again, I'll try that. It's probably the spool. Hmm. Yeah, this uh, machine came with 100 different colors of thread. And so that's what I've been using. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. Sorry, I'm reading comments here. Oh, lace bookmarks. That sounds awesome, Lisa. Stick your vinyl down with painter's tape. Oh, my painter's tape, I had been doing that, but it kept coming off and it wouldn't stay. So I started using the double-sided tape and it works like a charm. Okay, so I've got my project back on. I'm gonna go to the pink, which is already in there. That's what I, you know, stitched it out with to begin. So here we go. We'll see how it goes. I have my machine set on the lowest speed. Spool cap. Yeah, I have it set on the lowest speed, hoping that would help the issue with the thread too. So hopefully everything goes okay on this live. <sighs> Hi, Tanya from Australia. Awesome. 1 a.m. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just never know. Surgical cotton tape. Awesome. See, this is why I like going live. You guys have 
so, so many good suggestions. Yeah, I'm wondering if yesterday, if it was the spool, because it was only the purple and it just kept doing it. So I'm not using that purple for this one. I made sure to do a different one. I do, Dorothy, I did up the needle. So it is a bigger needle than the machine came with. So um, yes, this is a Brother NQ1700E. I think it's their newest single needle machine. I got it at the Sew Magical Expo from the sewing studio. And I absolutely love it. It's been amazing. Yes, it's a brother. Yep. All right. Let me see it stitching away there. Whee! It's kind of mesmerizing to just sit and watch. <laughs> Hi, Anne from New York. And it does um, cut the thread in between the jumps. So it'll cut it by itself and go do the next thing, which is kind of cool. So I don't have a ton of things like sticking up. Sorry, my tripod's a little off. Cellophane tape. Yeah. All right, I'll try all these different options you guys are suggesting. They are very informative. Let's see. My thread looks okay right now, so I think we're good. I've also kind of learned you can kind of hear when something goes wrong. So if I walk away to do something else, um, I can hear when it starts going funky, which is kind of, kind of nice. I don't know why they're not coming up here. I'm trying the double, yeah, try the double-sided tape. Kim, I know, I. it is kind of relaxing to watch this, isn't it? I keep escaping down to my sewing room to stitch something else. My family's probably like, where is she? <laughs> Let me show you the sanitizer. I did stitch out some hand sanitizer ones. I did this cute little sloth. This is Creations by Connie Design 2. And again, I just put a swivel clip and a snap on the back. There's different ways you can do this. That's the way I did it. It turned out cute though. I really like that. And then I did this ice cream one. I haven't, I st this is the purple that was giving me, I don't know why your comments keep going away right here. There we go. Um, uh, this is the one that kept giving me trouble last night. This one's for Charlotte and it's the color changing vinyl. So it'll, in the sun, this will all be hot pink. It'll be super cute. But I still have to put the snap on hers. Yay, isn't that cute? I love it. So I love the sanitizer holders too. Those are another fun gift something you can make i know this is not all new stuff it's been around for a while but it's new to me <laughs> thank you guys <sighs> masking tape from dollar tree oh yep good idea sewer's aid i don't know what sewer's aid is is it like an oil i've never used it before It's just fun to watch. Where did you get your color changing vinyl? I got it from Indo Love Creation. I don't know if she still has some in stock. I think she does. Um, she had like four to six colors, I believe, to choose from. I got pink, purple, and blue. And they are all so gorgeous in the sun. It is, it is the coolest thing ever. I forgot to bring down my little golden girl. I made golden girl lip balm holders 
and used the color changing vinyl on them and they turned out amazing. My thread is behaving so far. I'm trying to get like some Christmas ideas. Do you guys have any like awesome, quick, fun Christmas ideas for me? Liquid lubricant, Lynn. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to buy some of that. I've never used it before. Thank you for that tip. Okay, so my pink is done. So I need to change my thread. Now they taught me when I bought the machine, they taught me to cut the thread up here and then pull it down and out through the bottom. Because if you pull it up, you know there's like, like tiny little pieces of thread that kind of comes off and you get the lint. It'll get in your machine quicker if you pull it up through instead of down and out. That was my understanding. So that's why I do it that way. Okay. Very important. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, sorry, I didn't see those. <gasps> mug rugs. I have seen those mug rugs and I, sorry, I'm reading. Yeah, I want to do some mug rugs. Those, I cannot turn the speed all the way up because I'm stitching on vinyl. And when I've done that, my thread either breaks or shreds. So that's why my speed is on low. Trust me. I've tried turning it up and I feel like I had more issues when I put the speed up. So that's why it's going kind of slower, guys. I'd rather play it safe. All right. So I'm putting in my black. Oh, wait, did I want to do black? Yes. Okay, sorry. There we go. All right. Christmas ornaments, that would be cute. Rex the tension springs. What does, um, is it Stephanie? You're St Stephanie, right? Ashtown Creations. Pulling out the thread the wrong way. Yeah, so sorry, it is going slow, but that's because I don't want my thread breaking or shredding on the vinyl. It helps. I don't like where my computer is. I can't. Ooh, wine holders. Lots of good ideas. I'm going to move my computer over here so I can read the comments better. All right. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to record with my embroidery still here. All right. Oh, why did it only do one eye? Uh, what happened? Sorry, just a minute. Did I put the wrong color in? No. Oh, no, I think I put the wrong color in, guys. That's weird. <laughs> I put the wrong color on, and that's okay. We are going to have black little eyes. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. I got too distracted. <laughs> All right, now we got to do white. I swear it was showing black on here. Uh, 
And that's weird, it only did, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? That's okay. Here we go, let's continue. We'll figure it out. It may be cute with one black eye and one white eye, right? Like, um, what is that, the Budweiser dog? <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do this all right it's funny because I can't see what it's stitching because it's white and so my little screen is just white I don't know how to like change that so now we're gonna go over what I just did <laughs> it's fine oh uh, uh. Oh, Mary, that is a fabulous idea. I'm going to have to do that. I don't know where my spool cap is. Is it this that's on there? I think I've tried putting the spool cap on and my thread gets caught in it. Yeah. Sorry, I got a little distracted. It looks like it's doing fine though. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the tiny one. I'll have to find that one. I'm not sure. All right, it's still white. Go. That's weird, it only did one eye. I don't remember it doing that last time, but it must have. Yeah, um, Mary, that was my one experience with it, so I haven't put it on. I think his eye is supposed to be white like that. Let me look real quick. I did the wrong color. It looks great now. <laughs> um, uh, the Golden Girl lip balm holders I got from, oh, I want to say it right. Let me look it up. Just a second. It was Designs by Little B. Designs by Little B was the Golden Girls one. And then I had a different designer message me saying they had Golden Girls stuff too. And... Uh, Ooh, what was his name or her name? I think I'll have to look that up too. <laughs> That's right, Mary. I just created it. It's all good. <laughs> uh, hi, Deborah. pouch that came with the machine. Let's see. Here's my pouch that came with the machine. I've got the little netting thing. Um, I've got this tiny one. And then I know there's one that you put. Oh, this one maybe. Are you talking about this tiny gray one? Yeah, it came with a couple. Like I said, I think I tried them and my thread kept getting caught. So it's going fine right now. Hi, Annie. Thanks for joining. Tyra, I'll have to try the little gray one.
I'll have to try it. I think I tried the white one. Maybe I haven't tried the gray one. Hi, Cindy. You guys can ask me any questions that you have. I noticed that this isn't really in focus here. I don't know. Deborah, I am in Colorado. I can move this out a little bit so you guys can see my face while it's stitching. So you're just not talking to the machine. I did, yay. I know what it's like to have a name that people mispronounce. <laughs> That has been my life. And I'm horrible at pronouncing other people's names too, so I totally get it. But I'm glad I did it right this time. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> oh, he's looking cute. He's looking really cute. I'll try and see if it'll. Kathy, it is very addictive. You see my little doggy in there? He's looking really cute. Cynthia, you keep dropping the little gray one on the floor. Yeah, I have a feeling I would lose that little gray spool really quick. California, Deborah, awesome. I bet it's nice there. It's kind of cold today. I'm wearing like a full on sweatsuit, <laughs> top and bottom. I'm cold today. <laughs> oh, I love Target. Target had these full on sweatsuits, and I'm like, those are perfect for my sewing days. So. This is what I'll be wearing. Julia, you're in London. I bet it is freezing in London. Eesh. Like I love winter, but I hate winter all at the same time. Urban Threads. I have checked out Urban Threads and I bought a few of their things, Stephanie, and they are so awesome. Yes, uh, this is gonna be a French Bulldog. It's really cute. Lynette, it's cold in Florida. What is it, like 60? <laughs> uh, all right, so I need to... It's more white, I hope. Hopefully <laughs> I'm reading this right. Um, all right, so we are continuing. And my thread hasn't started to shred or anything like that that I can see, has it? It's looking good. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit to make sure. Because when it starts shredding for me recently, it like, it does it up here. And so I can't see it till it's almost too late. All right, more white. Oh, I'll, Stephanie, I'll have to look at their Christmas tree ornaments. I haven't um, checked that out. <laughs> Lynette, it's 72 there already. Oh, 75, you guys. Leslie, I think it's only going to be in the 40s or 50s here today. So, yeah, it's cold. It's cold here today. It was nice yesterday, but it's cold today. Oh, see, now it's doing the other eye. I was supposed to do white. It's fine. It's making a weird noise. Sometimes it makes this noise and I don't know if it's the bobbin or what it is. I, oh, see, it's starting to shred. Just a minute. It started to do it at the very end there. All right. Hopefully we're okay. All right. I like to trim off my threads as I go. <laughs> All right. It would be a great video on um, machine braid. Oh, small purses. Yep. All right. So more white. This doggy has a lot of white. I think, right? Yeah. I have to keep an eye on my thread now. It's like, it makes me paranoid that it was starting to do that again. All 
All right. It looks like it's going good. Deborah, I do not know why it does that. That is my question of the day. I don't know. Oh, Cindy, the thread I carry, the 45, I have tried it a couple times on my, my machine and it works okay. I had to up my needle for a bigger eye hole because my thread is a 45. Um, but I was able to do a few things on it. So I need to play around a little bit more with my 45 and I'll let you know. Yeah, my machine might be picky as to what thread it likes. I don't know if that's a normal thing or or what, I don't know. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking to see if I missed any comments. Yeah, Kathy, I'm wondering if my machine only likes a certain kind. Uh, OML embroidery, okay, I'll have to check that out. Thank you. I think mug rugs would be super cute. I got some, I think I have some golden girl mug rugs that I got, um, the design for, so I'll have to stitch those out. They're super cute. I need to get some bag making videos in this week, so I need to step away from my embroidery machine, <laughs> but it's really hard. It's really hard. Oh, that's a good idea to back up your machine. I hadn't thought about that. All right, the white's almost done, guys. Again, if you haven't heard, it's going slow because I'm sewing on vinyl and I wanna make sure that it doesn't, thread doesn't break or anything like that. OML and Sweet Pea, Judy, I'll have to look them up. Thank you. This um, whole pattern takes, it says 24 minutes, and that's because I'm going at a slow speed. If you went at a higher speed, it would be less time, but that's why it takes 24 minutes. <sighs> um, Ray, I'm using a, what am I using? I don't know. Let's see. I want to say it's a 9014 needle I'm using. I think it's a 9014 needle. I don't have the, I'm pretty sure that's what size I'm using. Oh, he's looking so awesome. I wish I could focus in better. Probably if I was using the back camera, it would work better. I don't know. Okay. Now what? One more. Oh, we got his little paws. His tiny little paws. And then we'll change color. It looks okay so far. He's doing good. All right, and then I need to do his little bow tie next. He's got a cute little bow tie. King Star, what was that? Whoops. King Star Metallic Embroidery Thread. I heard the metallic thread is tricky. Is that true? I have no idea. I'm not sure if this is a French Bulldog, a Boston Terrier. I'm not sure what type of dog this is. It's a cute dog. Hi, Margaret. All right, 
my white is done. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> I do need to try glow in the dark thread and I need to try like variegated rainbow thread. I haven't tried that either. Both things I want to do. All right, so we are gonna do his cute little bow tie or her, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I think when we demoed this or when we played around with it, she had metallic thread on there and it was kind of giving her fits. And so I thought, huh. Oh wait, no, I wanna do a purple bow tie. Sorry, just a minute. I want purple. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this cute little bow tie. Or her, I don't know. Yeah, she's a girl now, sure. I don't know, my son loves purple. Just a minute, I'm gonna cut this little thread because that bothers me. Um, who knows? Hi, Sandy. If you pop the bottom down, you mean like in here? What do you mean? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Leslie, they, you wanna see what I did? Let's see if I can uh, show you. So do you see all that down there? I had those little racks already. So that is my thread and the thread I got. And then the leftover is in that gray bin that I haven't used yet. So that is currently how I'm storing all of this embroidery thread. Not very fancy. I couldn't figure out any other way though. <sighs> all right, my little puppy, I think she's probably laying right outside my door, actually. <laughs> she's probably just right out there. Hi, Beth. What is your job? <laughs> I'm glad you could watch while you're working. The bottom section, not the sticker file. Oh, bottom leather. Oh, I have no, I don't see any place where you can pop it on. Just right, oh, you mean just like right in there? Yeah, I guess you could. I just bought these little thread keepers and they're working great. I have, this is gonna be a lip balm holder. And I think, I'm not sure what I'm doing for my next bag video. It's either gonna be the new country cow tote, country cow design tote, or the, what is that? The sling from Blue Kala that I've been needing to do forever. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. Um, okay, so done with my purple. I love these little thread keepers too. I got them on bulk on Amazon for pretty cheap. And they work great because I can just throw them in that bucket down there and they don't all come undone, see? Isn't that cool? Yes, the speed well, Kathy. Thank you. All right, so I am going to do her, his, I don't know, eyes, this pretty teal color because I want to. All right, let's see if I can get a picture. Oh, look how cute, isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's such a cute pattern. Oh. All right, here we go.
Uh oh, is it going all funky? No, something's wrong. All right, I always forget the... Something was happening, let me check it out. Oh, his poor little, her poor little eye is all messed up because I did the black and then the white. I should have just left it black. I don't know if that's part of the issue. I don't know, guys. Hmm, let's try that again. Let's try it again. There we go. I gotta back it up. Hi, Lynn. Thanks for joining. Okay. Let's see if it works any better or if it's just gonna give me troubles. not going. Hmm. I think I messed up his eye. It's got too much crud behind it. We're just going to, <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to do. Ready? We're going to go to the next eye and see if it works on the next eye. I think it's like kind of torn up in the middle because I did the black first and then the white and there's a ton of thread behind it. And I think it's just not wanting to stitch because of that. So let me see if I'm right. No, it's just not stitching. All right, let's do some problem solving. See, this is the thing about going live, right? Yeah, it's just not wanting to do anything there. And this one's a mess in the back. Any suggestions, everybody? All right, I'm gonna re-thread everything because usually that's, yep, I'm gonna check my bobbin. I'm gonna re-thread. I mean, bobbin is full. Maybe something funky happened with that. So let's re-thread everything. I'm gonna completely re-thread re everything. And my needle is somewhat new, so I don't think it's my needle. I hope not. There we go. All right. Everybody cross your fingers for me. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. All right. I am just going to try this one eye. All right. Let's see. Every crossed fingers. See if that fixed it. It worked. <laughs> oh, 
Phew. All right, I'll try, I'll go back and try and do the other eye. Isn't that funny? Just re-threading and redoing everything. Yeah, I checked the bobbin, I redid the bobbin, I re-threaded, and that seemed to help. Thank goodness. Um, I have a 9014 in here. So I'm gonna go back and try and do the other eye. Hopefully it lets me do it. So I have to go back one spool and then that should do it. So let's, let's try one more time. It's working, it's working. <laughs> Oh, yay! I thought, oh, that's sad. <laughs> Lynette, really? Cutaway stabilizer? I don't understand the difference between the two, I guess. Tearaway and cutaway. Um, I think I just bought some, though. I just bought all the different stabilizers. Oh, wait. Stop. I don't need to read it either. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, yay. It's looking good. Okay, so now I need to go to the next one, which is his nose, her nose, his nose, whatever. Okay. So I need to change to black thread. Cutaway is stronger. Okay, I'll have to try that. You know, I've just been using the tearaway stabilizer that came with the machine, and I hadn't bought new stabilizer yet. So I just ordered a bunch from Amazon to have on hand. So I will have to try that. All right, so now I'm doing black for the nose and we're almost done. We are almost finished. Okay. All right, looks good. Cutaway is stronger. Okay. All I have left after his nose, so he's all done after the nose. And then I'll be adding everything else on to the back. So I'm gonna scoot this out here. Has to stitch around. Rocky Mountain sewing. Oh, that's a good idea. I've never, I I know where that is on Smoky Hill. I'll have to go check them out. Thanks, Barb. All right. Let me cut away a couple of little threads here on the front and I'll give you an up close Look how adorable that is. Okay, so next I wanna add my back piece on because this lip balm is gonna be on the back of it. All right, so see, I just need a little bit bigger area for this. I need to add a room in my house. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to kind of cut and see what, uh, what size piece I need for this back. So I need about uh, five and a fourth by, by four. Okay. And this is, I'm usually, I'm using a scrap of Kind of expensive stuff. This is the Mora faux leather from um, Emmeline. I've had this scrap piece forever and I figured it's too small for bag making. It's perfect for embroidery. So what did I say? I said five and a half by four. Yeah, perfect. It's coming under there. 
All right. So I'm going to put this on the back and center it up. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of my double-sided tape on the sides there to keep it out of my stitching. Um, I'm afraid to use sticky stabilizer. Um, does it not gum up your needle? Like my experience with sewing through sticky things is that it gums up your needle and causes a big old mess. So I just, I haven't tried the sticky stabilizer yet. Okay, so here we go. I am going to keep the black for all of my, I could change it to dark brown, but I think I like the black. So we're gonna do the black. All right, here we go. So now it just traces the whole item. Something's happening. I'm, I'm guessing it's my bobbin. Is it? Oh no, it's my thread. See, my thread is doing that shredding thing. Yep. All right, give me just a second. Do you see? I don't know if you can see. Do you see that? Right there? That's what it's been doing. I don't... Okay, let's just redo everything one more time. And then I'm gonna have to pick that out. I did so many projects with like no issues whatsoever. And now all of a sudden, this is the issue I'm having. I don't think it could be the needle. I have done so many projects with this specific brand and size needle. And I've put so many fresh needles in, it's crazy. Because I keep thinking that could be it. I don't know, I'm wondering if it's the thread. Because it keeps happening. Let me get my, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to unpick this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Right? It always happens when people are watching you. <laughs> um, I could use my thread stand. Maybe I should try that. It's kind of hard to unpick on the hoop. I'm gonna go from the back here and pick out the bobbin. I, I don't know if it's the needle, guys. I don't know what else to try. I've tried new needles. I'll try the thread stand. I'll put it on the thread stand and see if that helps. All right, I'm just picking it out here. I like how um, it's kind of forgiving. Like you can pick it out and redo it. Not too many times, but at least once, right? All right, I think we're about there. This last little knot here. Ball point needles. Hmm. 
Sorry, I'm trying to, let's see. I have Tearaway Stabilizer. Is that what you're asking? Um, I'm using Brother Thread. Okay. It's the thread that came with it. All right, my little guy is all picked out. <laughs> I am going to get my thread stand. <clears throat> Maybe put it about right there. Does that look good, everybody? Yeah, maybe when this is done, I'll clean out my. My machine. All right, so I have to. Oh, I have to redo this. All right. Sorry. Thanks for hanging in with me. The joys of doing a live. Right? <laughs> you get to see all of the mistakes. Here we go. All right, everybody cross your fingers and your toes. All right, we'll try the thread stand. Yeah, um, Barb, I just don't have any black bobbin thread and I, and I just haven't, I do wanna do that. I realize that is helpful, okay. Um, I think, oh, I'm supposed to put on my pocket piece too, aren't I? Just a minute. Ooh, it's a good thing I messed up. For this back one, I'm supposed to also put on the pocket piece right here. A snack break. Yeah, I think I need a snack break, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's put on the little pocket piece too. Um... This one's a little bit different than the ones I have been doing. So my pocket piece needs to be like four by three. So let's cut that out real quick. And I am going to use just some tape for this part. See, I just don't feel like it usually holds it down very well, but hopefully it will. And it's so hard, painter's tape is kind of a pain in the butt. Take this part off. Okay, I'll do that. If that's still a, an issue, I'll have to do that. All right, so now I wanna line it up with that little line that was placed earlier from when we did the outline of the project. All right, let's, let's go again, guys. Let's see if my issue is fixed. So many suggestions on what it could be. See, my painter's tape is already coming off. All right, let's see if that worked. <laughs> Here we go.
Yeah, when this is done, I'll have to look underneath and see if there's any fuzzies or anything caught underneath. I'm using the standing thread holder here. I re-threaded everything. Hopefully that was it. He's almost done. Is it okay? I'm like all paranoid now. Mm, okay. Yeah, it looks good. It's going. Um, yeah, I think the presser foot was up while I was threading. Oh, I just heard something weird. <laughs> Sorry, I keep stopping it to make sure. <laughs> We're there. Uh, okay. Yeah, my thread was being naughty at the end. And I know it should match the color, the bobbin, and I just didn't do that, but look. Look how cute he is. And he's got a little pocket there. Look what my thread did at the end. I'll show you. This is my issue. I may call the place where I got it. Look what it did. That has been my issue. Do you see that? So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to look more into that because I was doing all the right things. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to kind of go over that again, I believe, because it's all cut out right there. But we'll just have to cut that out. And you put your little lip balm right in there. Might be a bad needle. I don't think it is. I changed the needle. I've done all of that. I am going to have to cut this away. I love all your suggestions. I am going to do all of them. <laughs> I am going to look into all of it. And I might contact the, um, here, can you see that? Where's my little lip balm? I don't know. All right, I'm going to leave it in here because I'm going to retrace over this top part. But isn't he cute? Look how cute. All right, yeah, I don't know, guys. I am going to call probably the very helpful people that sold it to me, the sewing studio, and ask them um, what is their suggestions. I don't think it's the needle. I've tried many different needles. It happens no matter what needle I use. Um, it's in the right position. I don't think it's the vinyl thickness because it was working just fine. I've done... I did all of these the same exact way and I didn't have any issues and it's the same thickness. I don't know. I don't know guys, but if I figure it out, I'll let you all know what it is. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining me. Isn't that a cute pattern? Um, it could possibly be a larger needle, but I don't think so because I'm not using larger thread than what the machine calls for. So, a uh, bigger needle and less density. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to open this up and make sure nothing is stuck down in here first because that could be part of the issue. There's lots of different things I need to troubleshoot. <laughs> yeah, the joys of learning electronics. 
I had the same issues with my industrial when I began. There were lots of little like things that I had to figure out and problem solving. So I think that's part of any type of new machine. There's lots of things you have to learn and things that go wrong. And there's always a reason. There's always a reason. So I'll figure out the reason. It's fine. It's a great machine. It's, I love this machine so much. I think it might be something so simple. So I'll figure it out. Okay. Thank you guys all for your suggestions. I'll go back and read them all. I probably missed some. Um, 16. Actually, I think this is a 16 needle. I don't know. Sorry. Now I'm reading my thread kept trying to, yeah. It makes me want to cry too. <laughs> It's okay. It's fixable. It's all right. All right. You guys have a great Monday. Thank you for joining me for this cute little pattern from Creations by Connie. I love it so much. Yep. It's learning. Guys, all of these tutorials with my embroidery machine are going to be learning ones because I'm just learning. So it's not really me teaching yet. Hopefully I'll get to that point, but I'm just learning. So I'll keep you all posted how I figure out this thread issue. <laughs> all right. Have a good day and thank you for watching.